Hey you guys! Hope you like my fancy setup here. I have another project for you to do. And this one I think you're going to like because it's something you can do all by yourselves and it uses things that most of you probably have at home. We are going to make a creeper. Now I'm sure some of you have been playing Minecraft. I've definitely been playing a little too much Minecraft since school closed. So I'm going to show you an easy way you can make a creeper like this. And all you need is paper, green crayons or colored pencils or markers or green pen, whatever you have at home, and glue. You can use a glue stick, you can use a bottle of glue, whatever glue you have. So. I have a piece of paper here. It's kind of hard to see because it's white like the board, but it is paper. I am going to start by taking a green crayon and I'm going to scribble scrabble. And I am going all over the paper. You see how I'm trying to cover up the whole paper? Now, some of you might only have one green crayon. I have a few different crayons here that I'm going to use, but if you only have one green crayon, that's fine. This is what it's gonna look like with one color of green. You can use, if you have yellow, you can use a little bit of yellow. I have a dark green, a light green, this kind of olive green, and a yellow. So I'm gonna use a few different greens just to see what it's gonna look like. Because we know creepers have some different shades of green on them, right? And if I wanted to, I could use crayons and markers or crayons and colored pencils on here. So I'm gonna sh I'm gonna hold this up because it's kind of hard to see. Pretty much the whole paper is colored in with my greens, and you know how usually we don't really want to have white spots on the paper. This time it's okay because those white spots are actually going to help our creeper look more creepery. So now what we're going to do with this is we're going to rip it up. Now watch, I'm going to the easy way to do this. I think is to rip off strips and then rip off little pieces. Now this piece is still too big. You want it to be maybe, whoops, I dropped it. Maybe this big would be a pretty good size, maybe the size of your thumbnail. So you're going to rip up your paper, and it's okay if they're not all the same size. And as you're ripping it up, you'll see that some of your pieces have darker green on them and some of them have lighter green. And that's good because that's what creepers look like, right? They have all different squares of green on them. They have dark spots and light spots. Now I'm not going to rip up all of my paper because that would take forever and I already did it. So I'm going to do a little bit just to show you. All right, I have a little pile of paper here. You can't see it, but it's right there. Now we need a second piece of paper. This is what we're going to glue the ripped up paper on to make our creeper. So we are going to draw just the outline of the creeper. We're going to draw. I'm going to use a marker, but you should use a pencil and then trace over it with a marker. Just in case you make a mistake, you can erase it. We're going to draw a square for his head. That's a little bit big, but we don't want to make it really tiny, right? Because then it would be hard to see. We're going to draw a rectangle for his body. And then we're going to give him 
his legs. This is like a creeper that's walking. <laughs> and if you make a mistake like that, that's okay because it's going to get covered up. We're going to cover it up with our ripped up paper. So when you have the shape of your creeper, you're going to take your glue and you're going to start gluing on your pieces. And I'm going to bring this up and show you because it's kind of small and hard to see. You want to glue them close together. And you want to make sure you have enough glue on there that your pieces are going to stick. Because if they fall off, it's not going to look like a creeper. It's going to look like a blank piece of paper. And I'm going to add more glue. And I'm going to glue more pieces. And this is kind of just like coloring, except instead of using crayons, you're using paper to color in that space. So you can see I've got a corner done here, and it's already starting to look kind of creepery. So pretending that I have my stuff glued on, you can do what I did here. You can draw the face on, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Or if you're really feeling crazy, you can do the same thing we did here, but with black, and then rip out black squares of paper and glue them on for the face. But I'm going to show you how to draw a creeper face, and I'm going to do that here. So this is the head. His eyes are squares, right? Because everything's a square. That's kind of a rectangle, but it's okay. We're going to color it in. And you probably want to color it in nicer than I am. Another square. Now the mouth is where it gets kind of tricky. Watch, we're going to make a rectangle. Color it in. And then a little square coming out on top. And then... On the ends, we're going to make two more squares and color them in. All right, so he kind of has like a frowny face made out of squares. If you have another way of doing that that's easier for you or that you like better, that's fine. This is just the way that I do it. All right, so once you glue all your creeper together, you're going to have the whole entire page filled in, not the whole page, but the whole shape filled in. And it's going to look like this, like you colored him in. And he's going to look like he has all those little squares on him with all the different colors. All right. So that's hopefully something that you can do at home by yourself. Hopefully you guys have uh, the materials to make this. And if you don't, just like I always say, when we if we come back to school, then we can make it together. Okay. Hope you have fun with this. See you later.